Martina. Emma. Lynn. In this video, you're going to learn how to set up, load and run a polyacrylamide denaturing gel. This is also commonly called SDS page. Samples for denaturing polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis are prepared by mixing a small amount of sample with a denaturing loading dye in a small 1.5mm centrifuge tube. Prior to gel loading, they are placed in a heating block set to 95 degrees for 5 minutes. While the samples are heating, the gel running apparatus is assembled. This consists of a gel tank, denaturing running buffer and an appropriate denaturing gel. Here we are using precast gels. Remove the precast gel from its packaging. Scissors may help if the tear tab does not work. The bottom of the precast gel is sealed with a strip of tape, which must be removed before use. The top of the precast gel has the comb, which is seated in the wells, and this must also be removed before use. Remove the inner electrode assembly unit. You will use your precast gel along with a buffer dam plate to complete the assembly of the electrode unit. Fold down the two arms of the unit, place the gel with the shorter plastic plate inwards on the plate rests. Place the buffer dam on the other side so that it seals against the contours of the green gasket. Press the gel and dam towards the centre and fold up the two arms of the unit. Replace it in the gel tank at the rear with the black electrode on the left. The inner assembly forms the inner chamber inside the gel tank. Fill the inner chamber with running buffer to the top and fill the outer chamber to approximately the two gel line. Typically 20 microliters of sample is loaded. Use a 20 microliter pipette to carefully withdraw the sample without collecting air and slowly dispense into the well located between the two gel plates. Samples that have been badly prepared and contain bubbles are difficult to pipette. Bubbles will result in insufficient sample being loaded. Loading samples by pipetting very quickly will also result in an insufficient amount being loaded. The sample will spill out of the well. Once the samples are loaded, Complete the assembly of the gel tank by placing the lid over the two electrodes, black to black and red to red, and press down. Connect the electrophoresis unit to the power source, ensuring black connects to black and red connects to red, and then switch on.